This, ladies and gentlemen, is the car that you've all been waiting to know more about. It is the Innova High Cross. It was launched in Mumbai just a few days ago, and the entire automotive fraternity was there giving us details. In fact, Rohan was there giving us a detailed walk around. Never mind. Um, well, I'm here today with the car, doing what Rohan didn't get to do that day is uh, uh, get behind the driver's seat. And so funny that he talks of me as if I were not here. But then we all are here. Thanks a lot for tuning in, folks. And yes, of course, welcome to Power Day. We are in Karnataka, we are in Namma, Bengaluru. And we are in Swalpa Swalpa Bharatada. This car excels in bumper to bumper traffic. When you start driving it in the city, it always starts in electric mode. Straight off the bat, a lot more easier, a lot more comfortable. Um, easier because visibility is perfect, it's actually so much better than the Krista. Uh, the dashboard is set lower, but even lower is the window line. So you have good visibility on the side as well. A pillar is not obstructing your it's view as much. The monocoque chassis here and overall the new platform ground up is doing its job. So some people had an issue with Innova and that was, you know, you move around a lot. In this, you're going to be planted. Well, it gets drive modes once again. There's a button right above EV mode yes. and you can cycle through TWR, wow. red MID, Eco, green MID and EV mode blue. So this basically is the comfort, the default mode. Ah, the default. The de so what these driving modes do is basically just sharpen the throttle response rather. The normal mode, I've stepped on the gas and it's it's not delivered as much as... Oh, watch out! Oh, the car took it pretty well. Yeah. This car, it feels on the stiffer side than on the softer side. So with the Krista, there was one seat which wasn't really very tempting and that was the driver's seat. In this, you are going to be tempted to be in the driver's seat. So, shotgun will have to be called not for the co-passenger seat here, but what are you doing? It's nice, right? Yeah, very nice. Six airbags, hai. we've got it covered. The six airbags are not standard in every variant. There are some variants which get only two airbags, but then the car is equipped, yes, with Toyota Safety Sense 3.0 ADAS suite of safety systems. Okay, so out of the city traffic. Oh, yeah, yeah. Traffic both. So let's answer the first question. Do you miss the torque? It picks up speed just about fine. I mean, it's not sports car like fast, but then it feels much faster than the Innova Krista from behind the wheel. The way that the power is put out, the way that the torque is delivered feels quite different than a conventional IC engine. Yeah, and I think a good measure of saying that it doesn't feel underpowered, our brothers at Zigwheels, by the way, loaded up the car this morning, fully seven people. They gunned it. 0 to 100 happened in about 14 seconds when they did that. So the claim by Toyota that 0 to 100 would be under 10 seconds seems to be a legit claim because when you load it up with luggage and seven people, it's happening in 14 seconds. So, uh, in that sense, the vehicle's not going to feel underpowered. Not at all. Right? But you will miss the torque. Yes. What? Well, also, okay, maybe a better way to put that is uh, diesel engines, the way they put down the power, it feels different. You have to slot it in the right gear or let the gearbox do it, and then the torque builds up after, let's say, 1500 rpm, 2000 rpm. Here, that punch is not there. The torque wave is not there, but, a torque then, wave. but then uh, there is a trade-off here. What you get in return is tremendous amount of refinement. The cabin itself is very well insulated. Gone are the days of feeling, uh, you know, having an agricultural uh, feeling to Innova. This is premium. Premium, it's refined, it's luxurious. Yes. So, because it is simulating a CVT transmission, you will feel the rubber band effect. You're asking the car to do something that the car is not made to do. Of course, Vipul also has paddle shifters here and they work. So, I mean, come And they beep back at you. <laughs> and they beep back at you. With the use of this chassis, Toyota has shaved off 200 kilos. And yep. that does make a huge difference, right? Step back, yes, I do bite. The battery has been placed under the seat so that boot space is not compromised and boot space on this is just phenomenal with the third row down, 991 litres. 
I had high expectations even from the horn, but it has a very similar tone to that of the Cristas, but हाँ बड़ी ज़्यादा पतला है. Big apologies on our launch video. We said that it doesn't get tire pressure monitoring system. The High Cross does get tire pressure monitoring. Detailed walk around. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> it's right out there in in a place where it should be at the MID. It's not an accessory, so sorry for saying that the car doesn't get TPMS, uh, folks. It does get TPMS. It just pretty much gets all kinds of features, but it doesn't get wireless Android. It does get wireless Apple CarPlay. Also misses out on a heads-up display, which the High Rider gets. That I did cover in my detailed walk yeah. around back then. And The music system is nice. Nine-speaker JBL system. It slightly nudges the steering. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. It, right. yeah. So if you don't indicate and you're changing lanes, it'll try and correct it. But if you indicate, it doesn't do it. So it's smart. Also, what I like, it really helps you overtake with a lot more uh, ease. Yeah, yeah, there's a sense of safety when you look at that orange light there. Yes. It's trying to yeah. tell you that, hey, don't do it. Welcome yourself to the world of A dash. There is automatic headlamps here, and there is also automatic high beam part of the A dash system. All right, so if you're done talking about what the Innova High Cross feels like to, to drive, drive in the, the city and also highway, basically when we are on the move, yes, that then it's about time that we talk <laughs> about the exteriors <laughs> of it. Bolne to this. Bolne. Yeah, to talk, talk about, about the, the looks and also the interiors of it. Uh, Your time starts. Okay, now. Oh, he's taken the interior. On the outside, it does look like an SUV, but on the inside, it does feel like an MPV. It looks like we're gonna have to talk about the High Cross from the outside here, how it looks. So let's start here at the front, which is where the Innova High Cross looks like an imposing SUV, and that you will agree. The gear stick has been placed here. Not the most attractive place to have your gear stick, but then again, it adds practicality to the cabin, very much required in your MPV, in your family vehicle. Now look at the grille. It is pretty much like that on the Krista in terms of its shape, not in terms of the size. It's a little smaller one out here. You also see headlamps that will remind you of um, Hilux, Highlander, Fortuner. It's a good mix and match of all the good-looking SUVs that Toyota already has in the market. Lots of patches where soft-touch materials have been used. Also, you'll notice these small details like stitching and aluminum. The fog lamps are stuck down below here, looking very small for this kind of a car. And you also have brushed aluminium cladding and lettering I N N O V A. Innova proudly being flaunted on the chest, and I call it a chest because look at the bonnet, so beefy. The white LED DRS that were white just a moment ago, well, are also turn indicators. What I also like in this cabin is the steering wheel, so much better than what the Krista gets. It is leather wrapped. It also gets paddles on the back, gets a lot of buttons here. However, the feedback from these buttons could have been better. From the side, the Innova High Cross is such a long car. Now, the first thing that they have done to make it look like an MPV is, of course, they've changed the rake angle of the A pillar here. It is much more upright in this case than is the case in MPVs. The paddles could have been finished in higher quality materials. It is plastic and I don't really like them. It's not a driving centric vehicle, so these actually work, but then again, this is something that you grip quite often. Now you see the side view mirror here, it's looking pretty because it's got a chrome garnish, but then that's an accessory. Remember, this is a hybrid car, so you have the hybrid badging right out here. Something that you might like is the adjustability. Can be adjusted for rake and reach both. So you can set yourself nice and low and get the steering wheel adjusted just as right. Toyota, you know, added so much of detailing to the side of an Innova as is the case here in High Cross. But what I also like, both these flaps, they get a mirror with illumination. So the Innova High Cross, it wants you to look pretty and confident. The car is sitting on 18-inch wheels here. Whether the car looks too big with small wheels or not, well, you let us know in the comment section below. Let's just move on to the back. Over here, you see some cuts and creases over the rear wheel arch. Vipul had a word for it today morning. What was it again? Hang on a second. Vipul, hi. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, you had a word to describe the rear here from yes. the side in the morning. Yep, that's my word. Why don't I take over? Oh, God. Ladies and gentlemen, the word that I used in the morning is a haunch. It's not a power haunch, but then Toyota has never styled the Innova with such detail. They've done it finally with the High Cross. So, kudos to Toyota for that. 
<laughs> the second row of an Innova. Who's to complain? Well, this has been traditionally one of the most comfortable places to be in the Innova. Also, the C pillar is quite thick, and that is down to the fact that the window it rakes down quite steeply here. That makes the pillar quite thick. By the way, the ingress and egress is just awesome. That's also because of the ground clearance. It's pretty much the same as the. Krista. Similarities can be drawn, but then it gets its own styling elements. Like for instance, these long and sleek tail lamps that spread across three panels. So they are big. Also, notice this beautiful chrome garnish that sits in between them. Gets a spoiler. I know it's an MPV, but then it has a nice recess to it. The high stop lamp mounted right there. And now coming to the captain seats here. I when I'm sitting in here, I feel like a king from the Ottoman Turkish dynasty because these are Ottoman captain seats, which means that you're gonna have a button here and a, a powered way to extend your legs in a comfortable position. Ottoman is the name given to the stool that you keep next to the couch so that you can rest your legs on and uh, you know be in comfort. The Innova High Cross badging here. Notice the capital C. That's how it's spelled. Panoramic sunroof, which is a big sunroof, big big sunroof. So you feel even more livelier here. This paint looks really premium on a car this big. You will want to have such a color. Now there's lots of leg room here, by the way. Then that's because uh, the wheelbase has been increased by 100 millimeters. Also, for the very first time in a Toyota, you get a power tailgate, and that opens up to reveal the biggest. Factor that we all love, the Innova, a big and large boot space. By the way, did I mention uh, the window blinds here for the rear window? And by the way, not talk about this. Large cargo loading space, 1000 liters, well, 991 liters is what we pull. Yes. Time up. Time up. Okay. Really, oh, very quickly. Okay, that camera the, does not have the. Uh, ah, you can't, you can't. Okay, so kill it. Now, of course, we haven't really shown you how ADAS features work, but then to do that, we're going to have to do another video dedicated only for the Toyota Safety Sense ADAS features on the Innova High Cross. For now, hmm, what do we do now? Yeah, dekha kya nee, 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 pull up That's enough. We have spoken so much. We have talked so much about the High Cross. We've blabbered all the time, and yet it feels incomplete. Like this, more to add. All right, guys, this is my summary, my take on the Innova High Cross. Everything that the Innova Krista couldn't do, this one does. And so, in that very same way, everything that the Krista did, the High Cross does it even better. Thanks a lot for tuning in. You're watching Power Drift. We're going to be coming back at you with some competition comparos. Yes. But before we sign off, one final piece of information. By the way, here on the grill, you see a lens because, of course, the car is equipped with ADAS, and so you're going to find lenses all around the car. But then, where is the radar? Or if you haven't guessed it already, it's placed right behind the Toyota logo.